Hi everybody. So Sabrina and I just returned from a cross country trip where we experienced a lot of rain, sleet and snow and thought what better time to wash the RV than right now while we're in Florida. I wash the RV about four times a year by hand and I do this for a couple reasons. One, I like to get up close and inspect all the seals and the overall condition of the RV, including the roof. I'll be down on my hands and knees and really inspecting everything as I go over it. Another reason why I like to do it by hand is there was a time that we went through a truck wash. I really did not care for the way that they use the pressure washers up against our vents and our decals. It's easy to tear these decals off using those pressure washers. So ever since that one time, I always wash the RV by hand. So before we get started, here's a list of everything that I'll be using today. Microfiber towels, FW1 cleaning wax, Rain-X glass cleaner, a ladder that can reach the top of your RV, a Ziploc bag and Tupperware container, backpack, and Dawn detergent. All right, let's get started up on the roof. So to clean the roof, I'll be using a small amount of Dawn detergent, water in a Ziploc bag. I place the bag in the backpack along with my Tupperware container. I add some microfiber towels and put the backpack on my back to climb up the back of the RV. I just like to have my hands free when climbing the ladder. I would like to point out, if you see anything done in this video that you are not comfortable with, please do not attempt it. Here's one of those caulk joints that I like to inspect while up on the roof. And I'm looking for cracking, peeling, or even holes. These seals can also be found around satellite dishes, antennas, and vents. So let's get to cleaning. I just drizzle the soapy water over the roof, and I'm using a different rag to do this scrubbing. I don't put this rag back into that clean soapy water. It should not take all that much effort. The dirt is usually removed pretty easily with just this little bit of soap and the microfiber towel. And now I'm just going over it with a dry clean towel and you can really see the difference. Now we'll wash the sides of the RV. All right, it's time to break out the ladder. I've been using this ladder for almost a year now, and I really like it. It's called a little giant. It's light, it's strong, it's easy to use, and best of all, it fits in the RV. So for the sides of the RV, I'll be using the FW1 cleaner wax. And I've been using this actually for years. I used it on my cars before. And it just does such an awesome job just removing dirt right off the side of the RV and very easily. So after I've wiped it down with the FW1 wax, I then go back over it with a dry clean towel. And while up here, it's a great opportunity to inspect the seal of your windows. So now I'll just continue to go over the RV using the FW1 cleaner wax and then removing it with a dry clean towel. Normally, the lower you get on the RV, the dirtier it gets, but the FW1 wax really does a great job. I'll clean the entire upper half of the RV first, all along the side. And then when it's time to move to the lower half of the RV, I'll pull the slides in. This way I'm not ducking under them. Also while I'm cleaning the lower half, I like to open up the cargo bay doors and clean all the gaskets and make sure that all the doors are making a tight seal. And for this, I just use a damp rag. And now I'll repeat the process on the other side. And to clean the back of the mirrors, again, I am using the FW1 cleaner wax. Now with both sides finished, let's move to the back of the RV. This is usually the dirtiest and grimiest of the areas. The good thing about that though, is that it can really show just how clean you can get your RV with using very little to no water at all. So far, all we've used is that small Ziploc bag that I used up on the roof. So I'll be up on the ladder again, starting with the top and working my way down. And I try to use the ladder in the A-frame position as much as possible. I always feel like this is the strongest, sturdiest, and most comfortable for me. With the back looking good, I'm going to move over to the front of the RV, which is my favorite part because I know I'm getting close to being done. This is another good opportunity to take a look at your marker lights and make sure that they're nice and sealed with the rubber gasket still in place. I just love to see the Winnebago logo shine. 
With the front all finished, it's time to move on to the glass. And I'll be using the Rain-X glass cleaner. I use this similar to the way the cleaner wax works. I'll apply it and then remove it with a dry towel. I have also found that the Rain-X works great on the headlights. Last are our wheels. Again, I am using the FW1 cleaning wax, applying it, and then removing it with another towel. And I really cannot say enough good things about this cleaner wax. It does a great job. And one can will do our entire RV with a little left over at the end. So now we are all finished. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.